more discussion? Yeah, I, I do, Mayor. Um, you know, I, I voted in favor of this last time on that, and I'm still in favor of having a, you know, a, a new library downtown. But in the conversations that I've had over the last couple couple of weeks while we're doing this, the biggest problem people have is like, I mean, all of a sudden this comes up, and it comes on their radar screen. Um, people are nervous about not knowing. I understand trying to keep properties kind of quiet when you're looking at because right away people are going to, you know, try to get selling properties for a lot more than they're actually assessed for. But the public skeptic right now, at least the folks that I've talked to, because they don't know where it's going, they are concerned about the size, you know, of the, um, I'm not worried about it being height-wise, height but, and, and so people are following uh, the local government, the federal government, a lot more closely than before to make sure that we're accountable for every dime and every penny that we spend. And so because of not knowing where it's going and not figuring out, I notice it's kind of like a double-edged sword right now. And if you don't have the land or you don't have the land acquired, um, people are going to be looking around and as soon as you know you approach somebody, they're going to jack it up. But at the same time, we don't know where the library is going, so it's people are nervous about I agree with the gentleman from, you know, formerly New Jersey that, you know, you put something downtown here, and yes, those, when you go by at night, you're going to see those second and third floors lit up because people stop living downtown. And again, once people stop living in town, then people are going to come in and start, you know, I, I agree with that, you know, what the gentleman said. But, yeah, but I also understand the skepticism of, you know, bonding out $2 million right now because we're all trying to save our pennies. It's not about spending money, it's, it's how we spend the money. You know? So, I, I guess that's what, you know, I guess I'm making more of a comment than I am. As, I, as was mentioned last time, I don't have a, any actual vote on this issue, but I will still stand publicly and say that I'm in favor of allowing them to move forward with the bond issue for several reasons. One is one we mentioned, uh, it's not going to affect their current tax rate. They've just pledged that they're not looking for a tax increase in 2010. Uh, I was fairly confident they weren't because there's no money there to get um, under the new caps and stuff. On top of that, any once they get once they get their planning done and once they get ground under option, it's still going to come back to public for discussion of where it's going to go. And so that that's not going to happen. It's not going to move to that phase of actually building a building without a tremendous amount of public input. Um, just spent even if they dollars. even if they have ground under option or under contract or even have some of it closed, it's not going to go away until they get permission to tear down and build a new building. I trust their, the people on their board to make, make wise decisions through that along with public input on all these threats like they did in Trafalgar. Uh, and, and I have talked to some people in Trafalgar area recently about the threats and, and I remember all the changes that building went through because of public input. And I think the same thing would happen here. And being honest, is, is if, if, if this budget or city libraries or county libraries um, is going to stay on our tax roll uh, countywide. I just seem to be doing some good in downtown Franklin as White River or, or Clark Township or somewhere else, just being honest about it. So, uh, but I will say this as, as, as a taxpayer that, that's been hammered by property tax increases myself over the last five years, I'm not in favor of moving forward with anything that, was, that would push our, our outside of our caps. And outside of our current budgets, and I don't think they, I don't think they're thinking that way right now. So, um, I, I know enough about the negotiations that went on went on at least one piece of ground that, that the owner of the property gave me a price that was less than half of what he bumped to them the very next week. And, and that's I, I totally understand from being in the real estate development business over 30 years why you have to try to keep your mouth shut while you're negotiating to buy property. It's just part of it. We do the same thing as a city. If we were out trying to buy something, we're not going to tell everybody until we get it at least under option. Uh, so, you know, that's my two cents. Shut up. But if they buy something and then the referendum doesn't go, that's just another piece of land they're going to have to sell, isn't it? So don't... It, could, it could be that they have to either resell it or at least keep it rented. You know, they're not going to demo something until probably they get approval. So. It could end up being it could end up being leased property. And the thing about leased property that you need to remember, nonprofit agencies that rent property still have to pay taxes, property tax, just like the Elks lot that we bought. The whole time they owned that is investment property, not using it in their actual 
uh, good of the order. They have to pay property taxes on that. So it's my understanding that under current law, that if, if you, like the city, owned a rental property and we rented it, we'd have to pay property tax on that property. Or something they call tax in lieu of, or there's, there's a word, for, uh, but anyhow, so to think it's going to be pulled off the tax rolls immediately, I think is, it would not be correct, because as long as it's being rented and used, they'd still have to pay taxes on it, which I think is real important. And I can't imagine that you would demo a building that has any value until such time as your actual um, plan is approved to build a new building. I think that's key. So. Well, I heard about this maybe eight years ago when they started banding it around. And I've heard about it in several uh, venues since then. <coughs> and I found the idea to be intriguing. Uh, whether or not I'm in favor of the idea. Uh, I can't say because I don't know what the plan is. And until they're given the opportunity to show us a plan, then we really don't know what we're talking about. Uh, I, mean, I, I would hate for us to be short-sighted and look at this thing and, and say no without at least having the opportunity to for them to sell us and the general public, the taxpayer, their idea. Janet, if this resolution passes this evening, what will that do to uh, the tax rates of Franklin? Nothing. Their their tax rate will remain stable. The risk is is that they won't it won't be passed and some other unit outside of Franklin because another unit will grab it. Once the levies are out there, if <coughs> it's denied, any taxing unit in any portion of Johnson County could acquire it. So then that would be where I think Mr. Wells is talking to the puts us behind a decade because they'll have to scratch their way back up in, in that. Um, so in other words? They're in, the similar, they're in a very similar spot that we were several years ago. So in other words, there's a pie. Yes. And this whole pie is taken up. And if they don't get their share of that piece of pie, then another section gets it. of the pie gets their piece of pie. So and there is they're nothing lining up to get it right pie. now. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. It'll go somewhere. <coughs> Read my title on there. It's ready to move if you are there. Move for move for motion. Move for vote. Vote yes. I move it. Okay, like the take resolution. a roll call. Vote, we, please. Motion first. Who was the motion? Um, the motion was made by Doc and seconded by Steve a few minutes ago. <coughs> the discussion was had. That was for reading, sir. Right. Right. Oh, it's very good. the title only. Now we need to be adopted. All right. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Abbott? Aye. Mr. Alt? Aye. Mr. Austin? Aye. Mrs. Gordon? Aye. Mr. Hoagland? Aye. Dr. Murphy? Aye. Motion carries 6 to 0. I have three originals. I'll send them around for signature. <coughs> I'll, I'll, can I just make a 